Hey Libra, welcome back to my channel. Thank you everyone for being here with me today um, to explore your next major love relationship. So we're going to have a look for you Librans, what's going on in this next relationship, who it's going to be with and what you can expect. Um, so if you are after a private reading with me, uh, please feel free to email me. Otherwise, um, subscribe to the channel, become a channel member. Um, you will get access to member content and extended videos as well. Um, otherwise, let's have a look and see Libra. Next major relationship. Okay, I feel like there is a choice you're going to have to make. Now, there's two aces, the moon. Your next major relationship is either going to be with an ex or a new person. They're both coming in at the same time. Okay, so they're both going to want you at the same time. Let's crown the reading. Both can result in lots of love here. And how is this person presenting themselves? Okay, seven of wands, so strong fire energy. The person you may choose to pursue this connection with could be an Aries, Sag, or Leo. Um, I'm feeling it's the jealous type of person, okay? It's someone here who has a bit of a reputation. So maybe you've heard about them, they've hooked up with a friend, or you know about them already, you've dated them, so you already know, you already know what you're in for, Libra. You already know what this person is capable of doing, the kind of relationship they're capable of having. And you know what a future with them would look like. So there's no needing to tell you twice. You already know what the deal is. So you've got this history with them potentially. Now, Seven of Wands also. I get it's someone who is quite, um, quite protective of relationships. And deep down, I think it's because they're coming up as an insecure kind of energy. Now, it's a strong personality. So they're quite vocal, they could be quite loud, uh, but I feel like this person stands up for what they believe in. And when they see something wrong that's going on around them, they're quick to sort of mediate the situation. They're quick to step in. Uh, and I feel like they could be a little bit feisty, Libra. Like, they could have a temperament on them. Now, this is quite a defensive person, so I feel like as soon as like someone says something to them, they, they may snap. So it could indicate, yeah, this this temper issue, this temper tantrum that they may have. Um, but the good things about them is that they're very active, okay? So I get that they're an active individual. They like to socialize. They like to go to the gym. They sort of like to be out and about doing things. So, yeah, they like to be active um, in that regard. They're going to be very defensive over you and over the relationship. But I also get, like... This is the kind of person that gets themselves in hot water all the time. Like, they just always find themselves in the middle of these situations. They always seem to be right in the middle. Okay? They like drama. They could attract drama. They're going to bring drama into your life. Um, but I'm getting that it could be an ex with the moon, cancer energy. It tells me you've loved each other before with the Queen of Cups or that you will fall in love with this person. But these aces... Could even be three people coming up, a choice of three people that you need to make um, in this relationship. So I've got this Pisces Cancer energy, so a lot of water sign next to this person, so they're quite an emotional person. Um, cancer can be a jealous energy, so could Pisces, but they can be possessive as signs, so I'm, I'm wondering if this is this person's possessiveness. Um, they're going to fall in love. Okay. I see you falling in love with this relationship and there may be a couple of, of attempts at this. Like Libra, I wouldn't be surprised if you start this relationship, you know, you get to know each other and then you'll want to cool off or you'll want to have a separation or a break. And you might even be friends for a time being and things might be one sided. And then you speak again and you get another chance at a connection. So it's not all, it's not all bad. I feel like you are destined to take time away from this person because you need to work on yourself with that eight of pentacles. You know, you need to balance things out. We've got you as the scales here. You're crowning the reading. So Libra, I just want to say before you jump into this that 
you may have to take a break. You may need time away from this person, but it's so that you can both grow, okay, and change because there's mistakes that you'll be making together. But if you spend a bit of time apart, it's almost like you're going to make those mistakes disappear or you're going to act different in the relationship or they may act different in the relationship. So there's a reason. There's a reason for that. Um, but this can be the engagement card. Some of you may get married or engaged. Okay, it's like whatever this traditional concept of a relationship is to you. Um, it's going to happen here. And I see you very emotionally happy. I do see you in love with this person, Libra. Um, I feel like you'll want to look after them. The moon is the mother, so you could have a very good relationship with their mother. They could absolutely adore your mother or you become a mother. There's motherhood here. So it could be a pregnancy. Now, this person may be younger because they have a couple of pages next to them. Or I'm sensing an emotional immaturity. So I feel like there'll be times throughout this relationship where this person's going to get too possessive and they may sort of blow up. Now, that could be their lesson. If it's their lesson they need to learn, then they're going to have to go off and do their own thing. They're going to have to be the ones to change and grow. Otherwise, how how is this going to be possible to have this successful relationship without them growing and changing like you need someone to challenge you Libra um so I do feel like you may be away from each other and then sort of grow and learn and change and sort of do things for you and then come back to each other that's why there's these two aces um You could be meeting through the past somehow, like a past friend, a past job somehow um, orbits you to this person. Somehow you become linked through each other's past somehow. You may have grown up together even. You may share some sort of past. And then you come together for a relationship, for a love relationship. Might have went to school and you had something platonic and now that's going to be romantic. You might have worked with them before or someone you get in touch with someone you used to work with and then they're like, oh, hey, I'm bringing a friend. Is that OK? Next thing you know, they're bringing this person and it's like, you know, everything happens for a reason. It happens where it's supposed to. At first, I'm sensing in this relationship, things will be one sided and I think they're going to come on really strong to the point where like they're desperate and you're going to be in a better position. I feel like you're going to be the one who calls the shots. They'll be like asking for your attention. And I feel like you're not going to be available to them all the time. You'll have other stuff going on. Uh, or you may just even be wanting, wanting to play hard to get because you really like them. It's going to work, Libra. If that's what you're planning, you sly devil you. Um, <laughs> if that's what you're planning, then yes. It could definitely be the case. Sharing, you know, I don't see you sharing that with them. I can see that you want to do it and you will be successful at it, but I don't think you'll tell them that. But they will, like, I see them moving around dates and times to, sp uh, to spend time with you, to see you. They'll be very accommodating. So obviously... Obviously, they, they do really like you and they'll love you. I do feel like you're going to fall for each other. You're going to become very attached. And I see that you'll become codependent on each other. Some of you maybe st will plan a wedding very early on. I'm seeing this church here. I wonder if it's a, a marriage or a proposal. We've got the proposal. We've got the planning of a wedding. So that could indicate that that's going to happen in the future, that the future may hold a proposal of some kind. Mm. That is very exciting. But aces don't come in our paths for no reason. So I feel like this is God, this is spirit sending you this person. 
and they could really surprise you. I feel like they'll have a creative talent and they're going to do something for you. Like they'll might, they may write a song, they may sing a song, they may write a poem about you, do an artwork for you, a sketch, um, write a, a book about you. Like they'll do something creative for you. Uh, or maybe even unintentionally, but you'll see yourself in that artwork somehow. And it's like their way of showing you how attached they are, how in love they are. So it's, it's their way of showing you these things. So slower to start off with on your end. You may be slower to get attached, but I think there is a very strong attraction and they're just going to keep on giving you this love. And then eventually it's going to break down those walls that you have up. And I feel like they're just going to push their way through with the Seven of Wands, that personality. I think it may be their fire energy that's coming through. And they're just sort of going to push their way into your life. And you're not going to stop them. You're not going to say no. So maybe they're going to let it happen. Um, okay, the past could come back up while you're having a relationship together. So there may be an ex or something that you used to do, or someone that you used to talk to, or see, or a past, a problem of a past relationship may come back around. Mm. It could cause friction in the relationship. Because obviously if they're if they're quite emotional and then they're finding all this stuff out, it's going to be hard for them to handle this because they won't really know what to do and where to go from there. So that's why I'm, I, I think what I'm seeing in the cards is that, yeah, they're going to get, they're going to get like tensed up about this. I do feel like they could be demanding. They could demand a lot of you, like your time, maybe your money, your energy. They're not an easy person to please, I don't think. And you'll have to be prepared to make a lot of time for this person. But I feel like they're going to be a bit of a me monster. And it's like, I want this and I want that. And I want you and you have to be here. You have to be home at this time. And I need you, need you to be there and cancel your plans for me. Like... You could expect some of this, and I think it may be that fire energy that's coming out, or maybe like Seven of Wands is demanding. It's, you know, so I wonder if they're used to getting their way, and they may think they can get away with this with you, Libra. Whether or not it's going to be a different story, obviously the role that you play in this relationship is going gonna, is gonna to be up to you and it's going to be very different but mm, that's just the vibe I'm picking up but I could be wrong um but I do see you falling in love I do see a lot of potential here but it's just going to be challenging in a sense of overcoming maybe some of these challenges that I said but it's definitely doable absolutely I'm going to leave it there, Libra. So thank you again, everyone, for tuning in. It really does mean a lot. I do hope to be in touch again very soon. Uh, if anyone was out there, anyone out there is after a private reading, please email me um, and I'll send you the booking information. Otherwise, I really do appreciate you tuning in. So thank you again. Hopefully we'll chat soon. So thanks for tuning in, Libra, and bye for now.